What's going on, everybody? It's Boy Techno Shelby here. So, uh, we're gonna be doing something different today, right? This is gonna be a Persona 4 tier list about all my characters and how I like them, or if I, you know, don't. Uh, it's gonna be really weird. I'm trying this for the first time ever, but as you can see, I already put Persano, Irai, Shu, and Naoki <coughs> at the bottom in question mark because I never did their social links. Now, I'm not leaving Yosuke. And uh, I'm not going to put Yosuke and uh, Naoto there because although I didn't do their social links, you know, I still got a pretty good impression of them from the story itself. <coughs> so, I don't know where to start. Oh god, should we start with the main characters first? Okay, you Namurakami. Oh, I want to explain my tears. So, uh, you know, S, A, A. S is just really good to me. So, C, B, A, A plus S. And then the boys in blue. The boys in blue, all right? So the boys in blue are usually what I refer to as my top three characters a lot. <laughs> They're characters that I really like, uh, and I already know who they are, but I don't think I'm gonna save them for last. So, uh, you know, where should we start? There's so many characters. Igor, let's start with Igor, right? Uh, you know, we'll put him straight in B. Because he, you know, he a good boy. You know, he helped the, he helped uh, Edgar tame or Yunamurakami, or Seto Sejima, whichever, whatever name you prefer. By the way, I'm gonna put us an S automatically because we're, we are we. Igor is a nice guy. Uh, I played Persona 5. I'm gonna talk about Persona 5. I'm gonna tell you when I am, but I'm gonna put a timestamp in the bottom so you, you can ignore this, but <clears throat> Persona 5, Igor was an asshole. But that's because, you know, it was fake Igor. It wasn't a real Igor. So, Coming into B, uh, coming into Persona 4, I was kind of suspect because I didn't know what a real, I didn't know what the real Igor was like, and seeing him in action actually made him really appreciate him, because he's he's just there to help. He's not interfering in any way, whether it be helpful or not. But you know, he's just existent. He just vibing. So yeah, there you go. We going B. Oh God. Okay. Okay. More characters. Fox. You know what? You're going in B too. Never did your social link either. But I, I'm gonna, I have seen all of the social links, but I'm not going to include them because, like, I've seen all of these characters, but I can't judge it based on something you guys haven't seen me do itself. Fox just exists, you know? Nice and neutral B, I consider B neutral. Yeah, I mean, he's just there to heal my SP, which uh, I played Persona for Golden on the PC, so I just, you know... Uh, tripled my money output and <laughs> just gave him it all. I cheated. Don't mind me. Uh, oh yeah, her. You go there. Cause she was the band social link, but I did the drama club instead. All right. So both in B, us and S. Margaret, I barely did your social link. You did just kind of exist, as far as I knew. Like you were kind. You were way cooler. I don't know if I like you more than a. Uh, the Velvet Rube and Tendies and Five, but... I mean, you were pretty I You are really funny. You said some very comedic things sometimes in, like, the first three social links that I did do of her. So I guess she she might be a real jokester of a person in actuality. Dice. Let's go... Yeah, Daisuke. Daisuke, you're going A+. I love you. I did his social link. I did soccer. And I really... It was really cool. I have seen... I'm not going to include Ko's, uh, as a, but I'm just going to mention it. Ko's storyline is way less cool than Daisuke's. And Daisuke acts so complete, like a completely different character in Ko's storyline. And Ko acts like a completely different character in Daisuke's. But just as a whole, Daisuke is really cool. It was a really fun thing to help him solve, you know, overcoming his failure, overcoming failure and all that. And, you know, hey, we're friends. We're here to help you. Don't push us away just because you're scared. Like, you know, it was really nice. It was really heartwarming. And, and in that same vein, I'm just going to put Ko right beneath him. Ko was a really good supporter of Daisuke. He really showed him what he really wanted to do. So, uh, here you go. You. I'm going to put you in C. I only did her fourth. I only did up to her fourth social link. I think I just had the final. My the, It broke the camel's back. I was completely done with the whole assault, sexually assaulting a minor thing, I was completely like over it. By that point, I was like, eh, maybe she has a reason. 
like a, not not a good reason there's no reason to justify anything like this I was like, maybe she was just having really big problems. And I'll, I guess I'll never know. I just got so tired of actually having to deal with it itself. And I mean, it's a shame because I really wanted to see where it went. But I just, I, I was just being very, very choosy of who I wanted to hang out with. <laughs> it's like, I did like nothing at night over going. I think I, I, I mentioned in a video, but like I legitimately, every single time it was like, you can work as a janitor. I was like, I'm never doing that. Like every single time you go an S. What a, what a cool guy Dojima was. I love him. The whole having to work through the fact that his, that his wife is dead. Oh, and that same vein, where's Nanaka? Where is she? She goes in there too. Having to solve these two problems what made me really emotional. I wasn't prepared to handle a family problem like this because I've ha I have this I've I personally haven't had this in the fam in the problem, but I have other family members felt like this was a problem for them to help. So I felt really close to home to try to solve this whole aspect of Dojima ta over taking his work over hanging out or spending time with his daughter. It was really, really heartwarming to see at the end of the day. And I love both of them. I just, they were the first social links I maxed, I'm pretty sure, outside of the main group. Uh, and I immediately was like, oh yeah, I'm getting expression, like, instantly. Like, hello? Do you think I'm not gonna hang out with them? I, Abihara, you going in A. I loved it. She was really nice. She was kind of rude. I broke, I reversed our uh, social link with her once, but I mean, we worked through it. The, I knew it. I, I'm pretty sure I knew it in Social Link 1. Or no, it was in 2. No, 2 is where you break it. No, it was in the same one. In 2, I was like, you're kind of rude. You do kind of just be like that, but I guess we could try and try and help her like overcome it. But when she told me, it, I remember her saying, all relationships don't, aren't pure. They always have ulterior motives. And I was like, damn. Who has hurt this woman? I, I felt instantly bad for trying to, like, for being rude about it, I guess. Like, I, I didn't know what she went through until we explored the social link, but it made me feel like a really bad guy <laughs> for judging her the moment I had the chance to. Oh, man, and judging people is a very big problem I have, uh, as we'll find out with, you know, let's go with them right now. Kanji... Boom. Nato, you're going there. No, you're going there. Kanji and Nato, huh? So, we gotta talk about this, right? I don't know if you've heard it. Heard it somewhere. If I have multiple media accounts. Just search up my name on literally anything and you'll probably see it. But uh, I used to be a very big homophobe and transphobe, right? I used to hate them for just existing. But Kanji and Nato, well, Nato isn't a trans. I don't think, I, I take it as a, she's just really suffering from the idea of not being able to excel in her work because she herself, it's not natu natural, quote unquote, in the society of Japan for the police force to be, have, have females in it. I don't think she actually wants to become a man in any sense. I think that's just what her shadow mistook it as. And in the same vein with Kanji, he was scared of women because women made fun of him. So his shadow just twisted that, oh, you're scared of women, therefore you love men. Like, that's just how his shadow took it, and that's how it twisted the truth of the situation. And Naoto's took it as, you don't want to be a woman in this field, therefore you want to be a man. And it's just, it's just the way the shadow twists it, and it's up to the interpretation on how you really want to perceive these two characters. But I think they did a really excellent job of it in general, especially Nato, because some people just, they, they just question it, and that's, and that's the end of it. They just don't know for sure. They just, they don't know for sure, and they need someone to either help them see the fact that they are or they're not. That's just how it came down to it, especially for topping in 2008. Oh my god. I could not imagine any kind of... I can't imagine, ki ki like, even, like, even adults in that time. I couldn't imagine what adults would react to Nato 
even the very idea of it being anything like that. And Kanji, I, I'm, I don't remember when homophobes were at its peak. I feel like, I feel like homosexuals. He's not a homosexual. I don't believe. I believe he is bi curious at at the very most. Uh, but the idea of homosexuality was. I think it was accepted in 2012. I don't know. I was 12 years old, man. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't uh, very much into the idea, me personally. But I don't know about like teenagers and adults at the time. God, I love these two characters. I love them. I want you to know I don't even hate people in C. I don't. I'm pretty sure she's going to be the only one in C. I, I don't hate them at all. Uh, Mari. Mari, you going to A plus? Her social link was really fun. I know it was a new addition to Persona 4 Golden specifically. I really didn't mind the fact that it, like, basically all of the buildup took place at the very end of the game before in between Adachi and Izanami's dungeons because I felt like the social link was enough to really bring her into the story. I felt the social link was, was exactly what it needed to be, especially since the social link itself is really... Are th the scenes are way longer than any other social link. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she might tie it with, like, Dojima. I really loved her. I know people don't like her because of the whole, you know, we, it takes ten years to get to the actual arc and stuff, but... And her dungeon was really cool. I really loved the Hollow Forest. I know it's bullshit, but I like bullshit things sometimes. <laughs> it's like, that's just me being me. But, yeah, she's cool. I like her design, too. She's really cute. Uh, I like her personality. Being like, you you stupid little jerk face. But, yeah. A plus, A plus, easy, easy A. So, uh, you guys are probably wondering at this point. Who's in the boys in blue? Well, you don't get an answer still, because we're on the ones lower. Adachi, you're going in A. A, A plus, A. You know how to switch those two around? Yeah. Yeah, you know, Adachi's fine in A. A for Adachi. <laughs> Adachi... Man, did I really love Adachi. I, I thought he was a really cool dude. When I did a social link, I remember doing it, and then when I found out that, like, I remember starting it, really enjoying him. I figured he, and he was rude to old people, which sometimes, I, I can see that. Old people can get really annoying sometimes, but, you know, they're old. They can't really know when to, when to stop or not. But just hanging out with somebody and then them turning out to be the bad guy was really fun but i i because i know i know it. this is also based off the dancing games by the way i'm also including the dancing games uh adachi wasn't in the dancing games but uh just for nato and kanji and all of the team members down here i really like adachi <laughs> i don't like him in the same vein as someone like a uh, persona 5 the bad guy in that game but I, I, like, don't hate him either. I don't, l like, love him, love him. Like, I wouldn't... I'd forgive him because I'm a very naive person. <laughs> but I believe in good in everybody. I believe when he was having fun with with Nanako and us at the dinner table, I believe he was being sincere. Like, 100%. I don't think... I don't think his feelings were lying there. I just don't think he realizes how important it is to him. But I he did kind of realize it in the letter he sent to us by the end of the game about how he thinks about us a lot and he didn't think it was fun at the, at the time but he, he 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 for some reason remembers it as something important to him which really shows that he he can really turn it around like i believe in him because <laughs> i'm stupid i'm naive i'm a young i'm a naive young man i just be like that sometimes you know <laughs> but yeah i really like adachi I was not happy to find out he was the killer at all, and his reason to doing it is really... I want to... I kind of want to say realistic. <laughs> and that's just because I'm in 2021, where incels are a very common thing. And I wouldn't say... Eh, what do you, is Odachi an incel? That's a very good question to ask people. Ask yourself. But, uh... Yeah, I really like Odachi. And I, I seriously think he could turn it around. I think, I think he'll, I think he'll try his best to actually atone for what he did. I think he realizes the mistake he actually went through. Move it. The more I talk about it, Dachi, the more I love him. 
More, if I can probably talk about any of these characters and they'll all move up a tier. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Let's get a side character out of the way. I just put Kanji and Nato up there and the, and the partners first because uh, they're important. Namatami, you can go and be. Mitsuro, you can go and see. Mitsuro, uh, just a killer. Kill Mororoku's killer. Uh, and that's basically it. He was a really... It, 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 he must have had a really terrible life to think murdering somebody is the attention that he really wanted. To get the attention that he really wanted from people. Like, that must really he something bad must have happened but i guess we'll never really know because once he was in the story he just kind of stopped and namatame i just feel bad for like he was just manipulated by adachi the whole time to do this and i i in his complete defense he threw people inside the tv and then they immediately came back safe and sound like that's they were kind of being... They were being unreasonably rude to him when they first met him. They're like, oh, you were trying to kill us and everything. But he was just like, I was trying to save you. And see, look, you're safe. You're saved. Like, that's... They had to, they had to really think about... Yeah, we literally... He, he threw us in and then he saved us. And then we're safe. So on his side, he's like, I did it. I saved him. He doesn't know we're the ones inside the TV doing it ourselves, but... Yeah, I mean, that's just how it be. <coughs> okay, final side character out of the way. Yumi, you can go in it. I cried. I cried during that social link. <laughs> I cry, I'm a very sentimental person. Emotions and my emotions go really rampant a lot. Like, I could get angry really fast. I, like, literally, in eyes, I was like, wow, I feel really bad for you. And then she was just mean to someone really fast. And I was like, wow, you're a bitch. I was like, <laughs> my emotions can turn on a dime. I wouldn't say it's bipolar. Because I don't think that, I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm just really emotional. Like emotions are really strongly tied to how I perceive and do act. And how I act. That's why I'm believing in Adachi right now. Because those fun times we had, I believe in them. And I believe he was being very sincere about it. And uh, oh my god, watching her father die. Oh my god. Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Also, who in Atlas walked up and was like, hey, we gotta show Nanako flatlining. Who did that? I wanna know who did that, because I'm not happy with you. <laughs> Alright, so we finally have the, 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 the last party members, excluding Nato and Kanji and uh, me. And Fox. I'd count Fox as a party member. So, Rise Kujikawa, right? Boom. I really did not... I, you can see it in my videos, but I really did not like Rise at all. I was really bothered by the fact she was always hitting on the main character, Edgar. I'm gonna call him by what I named him, by the way. Uh, if, if everyone's ever like, who's Edgar? That's who he is. Just remember it. I'm not calling him Seto Sejima. I'm not calling him Yu Narakami. I don't believe in canon names. You'll see that when I play Persona 5 Strikers. He has the dumbest name ever. I'll be, I didn't name him. My friends did. But, you know, blame them if you don't like it. <laughs> Man, following Rise, I just really, I like, I don't, I, I'm not, an, I don't, I'm obviously not into idols or anything. But, man, it must really suck. Like, having, hearing everything she had to do and it was so hard for her. Even trying to leave, just leave the industry was extremely hard for her. She had fans that still communicated with her and that wished her really well. She knew the impact she was making, but I don't think she realized how important making that impact was to her. And that's why she thought she wanted to take a break, which is she comes back in Persona 4 Dancing as an idol. So, yeah, it was really nice and she... She, yeah, in Persona 4 Dancing, she, like, she got it. She understood what being an idol really meant. And how to really express it to the people of what you want to show them. And it was really nice. If I hadn't dated Chie, Rise would have definitely been second pick. It would have been really hard to get there. I don't think I would have realized it by then, but it definitely would have been. And by the way, third pick would have been uh, Yumi. Just, just, no, not Mari, Mari. Just, just to lay it on there, by the way. All right. Are you ready to see this? Bam. 
Here we have it. The boys in blue. Chie, Satanaka, Teddy, and Yosuke. And then an S tier, we're putting Yukiko. Alright, I'm going to start at Yukiko. Right. What a, what a social link. <laughs> Having to deal with inheritance can be a very big problem to people. She was trying to have to deal with inheriting the inn, but she wasn't sure if she even wanted to stay in Inaba. She didn't even sure if she wanted to be a part of the inn or stay in Inaba. But it really came down to the fact that she knew the Inaba, she knew the Imagi Inn as family. Like, the whole, everyone in it, that's what she cared the most about, and she really wanted to help those people shine the brightest. And I can really appreciate that about her. Would I date her? No. <laughs> I love her laugh too like in all of the times she laughed I also laughed like exactly the same among her and it's really funny <laughs> uh, she's very strong like she says some stupid things sometimes her and she eh? but you can tell they really meant they're really coming from a place of like caring but <laughs> sometimes they just say the, the wrong thing at the wrong time. And now here we have it, the top three, the boys in blue. We have Chie Satanaka, Teddy, and Yosuke. Let's start with Chie. What a girl. What a, I dated her. Fantastic. It was awesome. Loved her. She's so full of energy. She's so proud. She, she's just so, she's cute. Like, bro. She really out here training. Like, she watches Kung Fu movies. She's so energetic. I, I love the energy she brings to the team. Just everything about her. Her voice is really good. I've seen what her original voice is from the original Persona 4, and I hate it. Because Persona 4 Golden has just such a personality to it. And you know, like, if you hear anybody like Chie, you're like, yeah, that's the person I want to hang out with. And they can be annoying, sure, but... Like, their friendship can be unmatched. Absolutely unmatched. It has, dude, the energy, I'm telling you. Every time I put Chie on my team because I dated her. But, like, seriously, just hearing her talk made me want to keep going a lot of the times. I, like, almost died and I, like, almost gave... I almost gave up the Let's Play on Risei's Dungeon because it made me really really mad like they, that that dungeon was so upsetting to me but just talking to GA like doing the social links in between me my frustrations really showed me like like I gotta do this I gotta keep going and it was really nice Teddy my boy absolute Chad he's Chad he's Chad too I love Teddy I, I, I adore Teddy so much there's a character in Persona 5. He's the mascot character, like Teddy. His name is uh, Morgana. Uh, you could not. You could be like, would you take more? You could be like, you could you could be like, hey, you get Morgana and you get ten, ten trillion dollars along with him, or you can just get Teddy and I'd be like, I'm getting Teddy. <laughs> like, there's absolutely no reason. I I don't I don't understand how anyone could dislike Teddy. He's so cool like i love him so much uh in the fear the fear i had when he said good he was just like goodbye in the velvet room when he disappeared after nanako i was so scared we were never gonna see him again uh i want you guys to know if i could uh replay the final dungeon i brought chie yukiko and nato because that was where the safe options but if i could replay it i'd bring chie teddy and yosuke Absolutely, without a doubt, no doubt in my mind, because these I love these characters like so much. I, I adore them, Teddy, bro. I don't care. He's perverted. <laughs> like, did you see what shadows he he fought against? Like, Shadow Yukiko, Shadow Kanji, and Shadow Rise. Of course, he's perverted. That's literally exact. That's like his. That's everything he learned how what to be from. He really took what those lessons they were saying to heart. Like, and his whole thing of having to discover what he is and what he what himself really is was really nice. I don't care that he's a shadow. I don't care that he's perverted because he's Teddy and I love him. 
He's so nice. He's so kind. He's always, he's always there to hype people up. Like, Kanji could be down in the dumps and Teddy would just come along. He would smile and I can't, I can't I guarantee you, Teddy, Kanji would just rise like a, a, a phoenix. He'd be ready for anything. I do wish of Teddy of one small thing I could change is the fact that he's an ice user because uh, I would have to replace everyone's like just replace like uh, you know Chie and Yukiko because he does both healing and ice but I just lived with the consequences of having Chie and Teddy because I don't care I love the characters <laughs> like that's just it <laughs> I love him you know what he's number one Bar sorry Chie you're number two Yosuke Hanamura. I didn't even do his social link, and I was more attached with him than I was with these other characters. Like, I'm still really attached to these ones, but, like, Yosuke just... He's, he's exactly what a 2008 teenager would be like. Like, exactly. Word for word. Exactly what every teenager would ever say. And he does a really good job of showing it. He's an asshole a lot. Like the time he called Nato useless or Kanji in the in the in the camp out. But like he grows out of it in dancing and all. Yeah, in dan dancing. I haven't played Arena. I know Arena takes place before dancing, but dancing is technically the end of the timeline. I played dancing and he didn't he was encouraging them. He was like, Yeah, you you guys do you, you know. It doesn't matter what I think or what anyone else thinks. You guys do you. And I really appreciated that about him. That was like the one major gripe is that he was he was like me. He was like he was like when I was a teenager, I was transphobic. I was I was homophobic, but he really showed me wow, I was an asshole. <laughs> he was like, change yourself and just do something more. And, you know, he did. He was so carefree. He acted like it, but he was really destroyed by what Namatame... Not Namatame, what Adachi did. He was so... He was so upset. Hearing him, Kanji, and Nato almost, like, actually attempt to kill Namatame was so... Was a powerful scene. Powerful. Absolutely powerful. It really showed... That he's really flawed, but he's, he, with the help of your friends, you overcome it. Like, I know people say Adachi is kind of like you, if, uh, if you never made friends. But I really feel like Adachi is more like if Yosuke never made friends. Because Yosuke really hated this whole town until we arrived and we showed him, hey, there's a bunch of people you can be appreciative of here. I really think Yosuke is more of a leader than you, Edgar, was. Yeah, Yosuke, he's really smart. Like, anything to do with the case, he knows exactly what to do and what we should do. And he's always bringing up, he's always the one who starts the whole theory casting. How we should do everything, and God, these are all good characters. I love them all. Slightly less so y'all, and I don't know about y'all, but I, but maybe you guys are really good. But yeah, that's a, that's about it. The boys in blue. That's what I... If I ever say the boys in blue, that's who you know. That's that's when you know that they're, they're serious characters to me. God, I love all these characters. I love this game. This game is so much better than 5. Like, infinitely better. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this. This is my... This is it. Save. Log in now to save. Okay, never mind. I don't want to... I don't want to save... Uh, Persona 4 Dancing Let's Play just finished. Persona 5 Strikers is going to come up directly after it. Uh, so please uh, have fun. And uh, I'll see you all next time.